It's a psalm when David is forced to do something. He was disowned. He was deserted by his friends. According to verse 4, he was in the ditch of despair. And in verse 4, he expresses how he felt at this point in his life when he said, no man cared for my soul. The psalmist in this text, David, had come to a point to where he wondered if anyone really cared about him. I believe that there are those of you listening to me who have been in the dark, deep caves of despair. I believe that there are those who are listening to me right now who have been in situations where things just looked hopeless. But I also believe that there are those who can tell you that a dark, deep cave of despair is not really the worst place to be in life. And there are those listening to me who can tell you that situations that just look hopeless are really not the worst places to be in life. Because in those dark days, and in those days of hopelessness, it is in those times we learn that there is hope. It is in those times that we learn weeping will endure for a night, but joy. The same psalmist reminds us that joy comes in the morning. I'm talking to folk who've looked around to others for help and concern. And you found out that they were completely indifferent and apathetic to your problem. I really looked at the text today and I've discovered that we're living in a generation of hurting people. And Christ is calling us to care but not just those who are like us but he's calling for us to care for Hurting people. We're living in a generation of hurting people who all they really want to know is that somebody cares. Don't really need a handout. They too believe that some way and somehow things are going to get better. And, and, and what they need now is not really a handout. But they need to know that somebody cares. I believe I'm talking to folk in here who've had your share of problems and you didn't really need a handout. Your bills were paid. You had food on your table clothes on your back, money in your pocket, but at your lowest hour, you just really needed to know that somebody cared. David, David, David says, I looked around and it looked like nobody cared. 
I've been looking around. I've been looking around. Been looking around society lately. I don't know what it looks like to you, but it looks like nobody cares. Well, to care means to have thought and to have regard for somebody other than yourself. To care means really, really, care really means to feel it. To feel it, to feel it, to be able to feel what somebody else is. If you can just feel it, 